and welcome to Mindy's Laboratory of Bad Ideas. Mindy's Laboratory of Bad Ideas. Okay, that's enough. Now, here on this show, we try to answer some of life's most pressing questions, like where did we come from and is there other life out there in the universe? And perhaps most importantly, how many rubber bands does it take to explode a watermelon? Well, today we're going to answer one of those questions, no spoilers. Let's find out which one, along with my special guest camera operator, Guy Raz. Guy Raz, come on, follow me outside. Walk, right walk, behind walk, you, walk, Mindy. Walk, 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 walk. Today we will be answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? Have you ever looked up to the stars and wondered, are there little green guys staring back at me? Mindy, what? that is not the question we're answering. It's not? No, check the script. It's okay, um, sorry. Uh, let's see. Oh, that would explain the giant watermelon and the thousands of rubber bands in front of me. Exactly. Okay, take two, Guy Raz. Today, we will be answering the age-old question, how many rubber bands does it take to explode a watermelon? For this experiment, you'll need a watermelon, a ton of rubber bands, and a whole lot of patience. First things first, my Dolce & Banana safety goggles. Ooh, so stylish. And then I guess we just start uh, adding the rubber bands. Now this might take a little while, Guy Raz, so you might want to speed up the footage a bit. Of course. As you put the rubber bands around the watermelon, they have stored energy, kind of like pulling back a slingshot. This energy builds and builds and builds as you add more and more rubber bands. Eventually, the pressure gets so strong that the watermelon can't hold it anymore. Oh my gosh, 